Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. The question today is about geometric progressions. The second term of a GP is 6 and the fifth term is 48. Find the common ratio and the third term of the GP. So the first thing, let's begin by writing the general formula for the nth term of a GP. So the nth term of a GP is given as the product of the first term and the common ratio raised to n minus 1. So here we are told that the second term, so for the second term, n is 2. So the second term is a r raised to 2 minus 1, which is just 1. So we have a r, and that we are told is 6 for this statement here. And the fifth term is 48. So for the fifth term, n is 5, so we have a r raised to 5 minus 1, and that is 4, which we are told is 48. So we are told to find the common ratio and the third term of the GP. So here we have two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, which you want to solve simultaneously. So the trick here is to eliminate one of the unknowns. Remember we have two unknowns, A and R, to determine A is the first term, R is the common ratio. First we are going to eliminate the first term and then determine the value of R and that we achieve by dividing the two equations. So if we have equation two, which is A R power four divided by A R for equation one, then we can equate it to Equation 2, 48 over equation 1, 6. So here we can see A will cancel so that we have R power 4 divided by R, that is R power 3. Remember, we have R power 4 divided by R power 1. Applying laws of indices here, we are going to subtract so that we have R power 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. So that is for the left hand side. And then the right hand side, 48 divided by 6 is 8. And that means if we find the cube root for both the left hand side and right hand side, r becomes 2. The cube root of 8 is 2. So this is the common ratio. We can now determine the value of a, that is the first term. We have a r is equal to 6, that is from this first equation. I'm using this because it appears to be the simplest. We can also use equation 2 and arrive at the same answer. So let's use equation 1. So we know a, or rather we know r as 2. So we are going to say a times 2 is equal to 6. And dividing both sides by 2, the first term a becomes 3. So remember we already have the common ratio as required in the equation. And the next thing which is also required in the equation is the third term of the GP. Now given the common ratio and the first term, we can now determine the third term. And the third term is given as a r power n minus 1 and n is 3, so that we have 3 minus 1, which is 2. But we already know the value of a, a is 3 times, we know r, 2, and therefore we'll have 2 squared. And this should be, so 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3, that is 12. So the third term is 12. And with that, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Oh,